And I would argue that, uh, you know, Reagan never consciously told a lie. He believed everything he was saying, but a lot of what he was saying was just not so. And he, he was, you know, he was somebody who was kind of more interested in emotional truth than in literal truth. He kind of thought that if a broader point was valid in his mind, you know, like the communists are plotting against us, then the actual details of their plots didn't concern him that much. And he had a tendency to, he actually read a lot. This is actually one difference from Trump. Reagan actually read a lot, but he was, while he was a voracious reader, he was also kind of an indiscriminate reader. So he often read sources that had dubious information, like Reader's Digest, Human Events, a lot of right-wing publications. I even discovered that he was a reader of John Birch Society, you know, pamphlets, and the Birchers were, you know, the crazy far right of the 1960s. Um, and so he tended to believe a lot of the stuff that he read, and and, and he, uh, you know, it, this became kind of a, a the building blocks of his speeches, where he would warn about how social welfare legislation like Medicare and Medicaid was leading America towards communism. And then he would trot out quotes from leading communists like Lenin and Bukharin and others to reveal the supposed communist spot, except all those quotes were basically made up by the John Birch Society, had no, no relationship to reality. Or he would often also like cite faux statistics 